What is the, uh, what's the backstory here? Is the uh, Hunter Biden chilling in the corner or something like that? Spit me some wisdom. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you ready? Yeah, yeah. I don't know, bro. That advice probably only works for catfish, so women on Tinder, maybe that'll work. Why is there so much media attention exposing the flawed nature and behavior of men, but not also the flawed nature and behavior of women? Because in this day of age, women like to be victims. I am a strong believer in that, and I feel bad for a lot of guys. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Like, it's all about, um, like, how you talk to any girl and she'll say her ex is a narcissist. Like, not every guy walking this earth is a narcissist. I'm sorry. I just don't believe in that. Absolute W. Based and honest. I can guarantee you that this woman has a strong male figure in her life. 100%. Such a beautiful tree. I used to climb this tree as a kid. Oh my god, it looks so good right now. No, you don't. Yeah, I do. No, you really don't. Yeah, I do. I would have went home with you a lot earlier if you did. Look at this f***ing tree. <laughs> Louisiana, I guess. Your typical Louisiana. So these are leaked messages from Jonah Hill, that uh, the famous actor. These are boundaries that he's setting in place with his girl. Plain and simple. If you need surfing with men, boundaryless inappropriate friendships with men, to model, to post pictures of yourself in a bathing suit, to post actual pictures, friendships with women who are in unstable places, I am not the right partner for you. My man. Very, very simple boundaries that I think most men want in place with their relationship. But my dude's getting flamed. Flamed, bro. Men cannot have standards, bro. Blew up on Twitter. At Griffin Minds, by the way. Follow my Twitter. That's the future. He got tons of backlash for having simple boundaries and simple standards within his relationship. This dude is mega famous millionaire. But no standards for you, sir. What are you, misogynist? You got the misogyny in your mind, dude? I want a boyfriend so bad. I want him to hold my hand and take me to the movies, drive me around and tell me I'm pretty, go thrifting with me, tell me about his favorite things. I want a boyfriend. I really do. But I feel so guilty because that's not fully true. Because the bitter truth is a boyfriend won't fix me. I don't want a person. I just want to be less lonely. Because he'll make me feel pretty. I want to feel pretty, but I don't want a boyfriend. I want the idea of him. Hold up. Wait a minute. Hi. No, we're moving on. No. Nope. What standards do Japanese women have that differ from Western women? Good question. Do you want to go ahead, John? But Japanese women are very feminine. They're very demure. They're very modest. They're not combative. They're not trashy. They're not outspoken and loud and obnoxious. They are very honorable women in the sense that they don't just do something and think like, oh, what is this effect gonna have on me? They think, oh, what is this gonna make my dad look like? What is this gonna make my mom look like? What is this gonna make my grandma look like? What's this gonna make my uncle look like? So and that's a really good girl to have around, a woman that considers what her actions are going to affect, not only her, but everybody around her. Shout out to whatever and MLD. This isn't just Japanese women. This is any properly feminine woman. You know, the open, loving, caring, fit, feminine, submissive type. Of course, she should care what her family thinks about her because she's in that feminine, more communal mindset. Also, if she has a good relationship with her parents, there should be that respect there. All of this modern boss babe stuff that you hear today. No, you'll accept me for me. I'm a boss babe, I'm independent. You don't tell me what to do, I live my own life. Masculine behavior, bro. Get him out of here. My wife thinks I hold her hand in Target to be romantic, but in reality, it's to stop her from buying things. Hey, hey. Oh, babe, how fun would an air mat? Hey, how about some popcorn? Hey. <laughs> Now that is what we call a 10,000 IQ play, okay? This guy is going to make millions. Invest in Tesla and cat food. Oh, unblock me right now before I pull up to your house, get your auntie's house and your sister's house too. I'll figure out where you are, I don't care. I don't care. Okay, sometimes clingy can go too far. That's probably too far right there. I'm actually not a cat. Hey, so you ready for our day? It's kind of different than your profile picture. Yeah, they're a couple months old. Yeah. Mine are old too, so I, I get it. But 
anyway, so. I mean, those are nice jeans. What kind are they? Do a little spin. Let me check them out. Okie dokie. Legend. <laughs> I don't know what Dusty Buster needs to hear this, but she used you for your money because you are not that you just had money. It's not wrong. If you lead with your wallet, you're more likely to be seen as just the wallet. Simple deduction. What kind of world do we live in where a normal, regular girl cannot find just a regular guy out here to date? Because these guys don't want a real woman. They want a fantasy. They want to live in this fake fantasy world. They would rather jack off to some screen, to some robot, rather than actually deal with a real human being and what comes with that. You know why? Because it's easier. And I am done. I'm done. The divide between men is becoming larger and larger, where we have the undesirable men becoming less and less desirable, and there's becoming more of them. And then on the flip side, we have the desirable high value guys that are becoming even more scarce. A while ago, supposedly it was 80% of men get very little to no attention from women. And I think that number is just increasing where now I believe it's around 90% in my opinion. It's truly a small minority of men is getting the vast majority of attention from women. So now women are really having only two choices. It's either you pick the man that really no other woman wants, or you decide to be one of 10 girls in some high value guy's harem. You pick. Talk to my grandson like that again, I'll kick your Uh oh. Let's do it. Let's go. Uh oh. Let's go. Come on. Miss Nan. Let's go. Uh oh. Do y'all see this shit? Girls go wild to senior edition. <laughs> ah, boy. Granny is about that life. That's the caption. Is that Granny from the block, bro? You know what? She gets uh, she gets G status of the week, all right? Good on you, Granny. Get that G. You got fake eyelashes. You got fake hair. You got fake hair. You got fake everything on your body. But you want a real Like, I worked hard for these results. I suffered. I went through the fire. Adversity builds character. I went through the fire for this. And that's exactly why you shouldn't be tolerating any bad behavior. For men to become and become that apex dude that we always talk about, we have to struggle for years of hard work, pain, and struggle just to become that dude. So when you finally get there, do not tolerate BS on any level. Hold that frame. You've earned it. Become that guy and then act like it. I just got home. I took a shower, fired up Hinge. I'm like, oh, my most compatible. Let's see who this is. It's my first cousin. Alabama resident, clearly. I'm not here for it. This is not why I'm here. No, I did not come here for that. Subscribe to the channel on the road to 1 million.